Hello everybody, it's Mixed Miles and Merman. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell. It's completely free to do so, and that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the two mount fills that I put away back in, I think, October. Um, filled one up with, um, with ethanol free fuel and one with E10. And they've been stored since about October to now, which is now the end of February. So I said I'll pull them back, pull them both out put them out on the lawn and see which one fires up, which one doesn't. They've both got the same spark plug in, a good amount of all, and both machines were tested prior to the video um, back in October, and they both ran extremely well as they should do. So this will be the test to see if the E10 fuel has done anything to the engine, or in fact, the ethanol free um, lawnmower won't start up. It's a, it's a question of just wait and see. Before we get on, I've got a few little tiny bits and pieces here. I've got a sticker, a key ring, from my good friend, uh, Dick Small Engines over in Birmingham. There's a Dick sticker there. It's a bit reflective, so I have to get a bit of a move about in my old light. I've got a couple of stickers there from my mate Dick. He also sent me a donkey. Don't know what that's about. No idea. It, it, it might be subjective. No idea. I'll let you figure it out. Uh, cheers, Dick. And he also sent me a new um, Dick Small Engines key ring as well. That's fantastic. That'll go on my, on my shed keys. Cheers for that, Dick. And then also had another one come in. Got a little bit of a love letter here going on uh hi mick uh finding clothes my new sticker and also a bottle opener um and it's to say thank you for all your help with my youtube channel so uh, this is from my good friend nev who's actually a track worker as well or used to work on the railway so nev's got a new uh sticker tinkering taylor is his channel name go and check nev out he's super cool and he also sent me a um a soft drinks bottle opener um which is fantastic so uh, lots of guys are now doing these i do them as well uh, so Nev has now sent me uh, a bottle opener as well. That go straight in the kitchen, Nev. That'd be fantastic. Thank you very much indeed for that. So without further ado, let's get down on dirty and let's check out these two little mount fills, one of the ethanol free and one with E10 to see which one will start and which one will not. But before we start, of course, uh, I need to have a bit of a sort out. I've been super, super busy in the old mixed mower shack, doing lots of repairs, service work. I've got to just sort out this 20 inch bow mower that's coming up next. I've got to just sort out a O-ring gasket for that because it's leaking. And I have no idea where the O-ring is. Um, I did buy some new ones, Tilliston ones. But the mount field um, mowers are just down here. Two, two little tiny red ones just there and there. So I've got to dig them all out. I can't do anything to them. Um, they have been completely covered up with um, rags of any dirt getting on top of them. And I haven't touched them at all since October. So let me get a bit of clear space. I'll meet you outside and we'll go from there. Okay, she's a touch windy, so it might get a bit windy interference. I can't uh, apologize enough for that, but uh, that's what it is. So both these machines have been stored, as you can see, very, very grubby, very, very dirty. So we'll be cleaned up eventually. Um, but what we said in the last video was I took off a sticker. See this um, one year guarantee sticker? I took it off of this one. And this is going to be the one with the ethanol um, E10 fuel in it. And the one on the, on the other side, this one here, is the one with um, the ethanol free fuel. So between the two, I've done nothing to them at all. Um, they've just been sat there stored, just taking up space in my workshop and uh, getting covered in dirt and dust. And uh, hopefully we can now see, hopefully they both start is the idea, um, but, but they both ran beforehand. Um, someone did comment in a video that I left a torch plug in on this one, but I'm 100% convinced I didn't. Let me have a quick little double check. Uh, no, it's got a uh, NGK in there. So that's cool. Right, so what I'm gonna do first is just check the fuel in both. So first thing we're gonna do, make sure we're still holding fuel. There's fuel on that one. That's good. And there's fuel in that one. So both have uh, the right amount of fuel in, um, which is good, so none of them are leaked by over the winter season, so that's good. Let me bring around this way the sun's just come over the old yard arm, a little tiny touch. That's a bit better. Right. So um, I'm just gonna pull them five times each first without priming. See if that makes any difference at all. So this is the ethanol free. Nothing, which you would expect because it needs to be primed. E10. Thank you. 
nothing. I'm gonna get five pumps on this one. See if this one starts. Starts and stops. This one, five pumps. So the E10 one um, started, but it started with more pulls. It started on the, on the fifth pull, a fourth or fifth pull. Give another five pumps on this one. Stops. And this is, that's the FNL3. Another five pumps here. That's actually priming. I can hear priming lovely now. First pull. So the E10 is actually running fine. I'm now going to try and encourage the uh, FNL3 one to do exactly the same. Five pumps. So the FNL3 is actually running a slightly bit more rough than um, his brother with the E10. That's all very, very cold to be fair. The E10 is running with no problems at all, but this one here, although it is priming, the FNL3. <clears throat> That's better, picked up a touch now. So there is your result, right there. So there you go, quick little video. Um, the results are in. The E90, uh, the E10 um, petrol lawnmower was a little bit slower to start originally. Uh, started on fourth or fifth pull when, when it actually started to fire and run. Uh, but the FNL3 one needed a bit more coaching, uh, which is uh, which is interesting. I was expecting the results to go completely the opposite way. So those machines have been in for October, November, December, January, February, four months they've been in, uh, just sat in, in the shed in all types of um, different temperatures from minus 10 all the way up to today's climate, which is about, 10, about eight, eight, nine degrees. Um, but both lawnmowers actually run. Now, is it worth taking the carburetors off to see inside the bowl? My, my question or answer to that is no, it's probably not. Both machines are, are now working. There's been no moisture so much in this shed, so I'm not expecting any water to be attracted. However, if the lawnmowers would have been left outside, that may have been a completely different story. Um, all in all, I'm quite happy with the result. I wasn't really expecting the E10 to fail, but it is a nice comparison just to know that if you do leave the petrol in your lawnmower overnight, uh, over the winter, especially your E10, 
um, in four months, it still, it still would, should, and does actually fire and run. So that's a fantastic thing to look at. I may just take the bowls off the carburetors, have a quick inspection of the bowls, see if, it, if the E10 has gunked up at all. But judging by the results of a lawnmower, I would say no. Um, I would say it would be absolutely fine. Uh, the machines both fired up, uh, with one with a little bit more coaching than the other, but there you go, the results are in. Um, next next season, what I might do is actually put some more um, fuel in, in those machines and leave them for an entire year to see what happens. But then, you know, you, you're already sort of asking the same question of the, um, the life or, um, span of unleaded fuel over here in the UK. But for me, a winter of tests, just like that, four months is when uh, we start to put the mowers away in October and not get them out again until springtime, which we're just approaching now. And both machines do start and run. However, the e, um, the ethanol free one was a little bit slower to get out of bed than the E10. So there's your results. If you like sort of video, mix mowers and mower man, hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told the next time I upload another video. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, people don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.